I want to share with you a secret that I learned way too late in my career. It is called the number system or sometimes referred to as the Nashville number system. It is a way to think about music in the proper way, in the correct way, in a way that you can move seamlessly, confidently from key to key without any limitations, okay? So let's start from square one. If you can count to seven, you can understand the number system, okay? So the number system basically takes the major scale, okay? This is a 101. You're taking the major scale, say we're in the key of G. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes, right? And then the eighth note is just repeating, okay? Okay, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What does that mean? Well, Here's the thing. You can associate one with a chord. So one is major. Two is minor. Three is minor. Four is major. Five is major. Six is minor. And seven is diminished. Okay? Now, how does this serve you? You're probably asking, okay, great. That sounds like music theory. I don't know how this serves you. Okay, well, Stick with me, okay? Because the thing is, every song you've ever heard follows the number system. Every song. Blues, we play a one, four, one, five. Any pop song, don't stop believing. One, five, six, four. All right? I don't know why Don't Stop Believing popped into my head. I just love that song. And if any Soprano fans out there, shout out. That was the last song in, this, in the whole series. I know I'm dating myself, but Sopranos was a great, great series. Anyways, back to the subject at hand. Okay, so the number system, if you know, oh, I know that the one is major in any key. I know that the four is major in any key. I know that the five is major or dominant in any key. This is knowledge, people. This is power because say one day all right say one day you want to do a song with somebody and they say, oh my my throat's hurting i gotta i gotta take it down a few keys okay great if you know a song in the number system where you memorize it like oh it's like one four five it won't matter if it's in the key of g or f or b flat okay and we're just scratching the surface okay we're just scratching the surface i want to empower with you with a lot more information, okay? So we're still in the key of G, right? We have, again, if you got a, if you have a pen and paper, write this down, okay? And I also actually have a free PDF I want to give you. It'll be just in the description that just outlines the number system in all 12 keys. But major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? So if I told you, okay, the chord progression for this gospel quartet song goes one, four, three, six, two, five. Okay? So I might think it's like this. One, four, and then three, six, two, five, one. Right? Okay? Now... These are just the rules. We're going to break the rules soon, but you got to learn the rules. I, I had an old music teacher that used to say, you got to learn the rules before you break them, okay? All right, so we're still in the key of G, right? Now, you got to memorize that, but there are ways to switch it. So in church, a lot of times, somebody, there'll be a music director that is in a talkback mic. The audience can't hear it, but the musicians can hear it, okay? And they'll be calling out numbers, and those numbers mean something. Those numbers are literally what I'm telling you right now, like the one, one, okay? Three, four. Now he, now the music director might say sharp four. Okay, so what is that? What is that? Normally, that's a diminished. Okay, so again, this is where we're breaking the rules, right? The sharp four doesn't exist in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But if you know your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you could say, oh, if there's a sharp four, I know what that's implying, right? That's the diminished, right? Or five. Or if they say two, five, one, you know exactly what that is. Or if they say a two dominant five, one, sounds like this, right? Okay, so now we're starting to, bend the rules a little bit. 
Or what if they say, oh, flat six, flat seven, one. And the home of the brave. Right? That's how Whitney Houston ends the Star Spangled Banner, okay? Again, it's the flat six, the flat seven, and the one. Um, so, again, you need to learn the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you're going to be sweet. So let's say, all right, I want to give you an example now. All right, we're going to change to the key of D. D is in dog. Um, we're going to play the one to the minor five to the four to the flat seven. So that's going to sound like this. One to the minor five. Uh-oh, does it sound familiar? Four to the flat seven dominant. That's right. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to the one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I know one, two, three, four, five. That A chord should be major or dominant, but in this case it's a minor. Because I called it, right? I said one to a minor five to a four to a flat seven. Normally, this is our seven, but flat seven would be here, dominant. Boom. And we have, how does it feel, right? Right? D'Angelo. <laughs> okay. So this is a way that the number system can empower you. You could communicate effectively to other musicians on the fly very, very quickly. Um, Nashville calls it the Nashville number system. I just call it the number system because I don't live in Nashville. <laughs> um, a lot of church musicians will just call it the number system. Um, so let's do another example really quick. Let's go to the key of F, okay? I want you to play a one flat three dominant to the four dominant. Again, a one, flat three dominant to the four dominant. You can pause the video, take a second to figure out what that is. And I'll be right here with the answer. So here's the answer. One, flat three dominant, four dominant. So that's pretty common, you know? That's a common sound, right? right? Because that's a flat three dominant. So here's, normally it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, flat three dominant, four dominant. Okay. This is how we're communicating really, really quickly to other people. Um, what if I said uh, three, six, two, five? So three, six, two, five. What if I said three dominant, flat three dominant, two dominant? Five dominant. Well, that's this. What if I said flat uh, fl uh, three dominant, flat three dominant, two dominant, flat two dominant, one? Sound like this. Right? Okay, so you're getting the hang of what all this means. I'm, we're breaking rules together, okay? Uh, again, I have a free PDF if this is a little moving too fast. Um, but the number system can really, really empower you. You know, you don't need to feel locked into any key. You don't need to feel like, you know, you're, you're restricted. Oh, I only know this song in G. That's a huge thing for guitar players. Like, oh, I only know it in this key because they're limited in their thinking. They're not thinking about music the correct way. The correct way is to do the number system, okay? And it, like the way I think of the number system too is like a one is often home base, home base. That's where we go just to feel safe. The four is like you're going to your neighbor's house. Like it's comfy, you know about it, right? And then the five is like, that is your brother, mother, sister, cousin. That is your best friend. That is literally, they'll take you home every time. They'll take you back to the one every time. So the one is home. The four is like your neighbor. It's comfy, but you know, you want to go home. Five is like your best friend, your brother, your mother, sister, cousin, aunt, uncle, because they're going to take you home. They're going to take you back to the one, okay? So 
I hope all of this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, because this stuff, if you've never been exposed to this, if you never, because I never grew up learning music like this. Um, so if you've never been exposed to this, take a second, go back, rewatch, download the PDF if you need to. Um, and, you know, hit the comments, hit the comments. I, I answer all everyone's questions. So um, don't be a stranger. Thank you for being a part of this community. I will see you very soon.